The Zombie Star Solitude Unbroken Chapter 1. Life in Isolation Deep within the dense forest. Far from the horrors of the zombie apocalypse, Klaus. A former Special Forces soldier, had found solace in a remote cabin. Two years had passed since the world was overrun by the undead and Klaus had managed to stay alive by relying on his impressive skills, resourcefulness, and maintaining a safe distance from major population centers. As the sun rose on another day, Klaus went about his morning routine with a sense of discipline that had been ingrained in him from his time in the military. He meticulously checked his traps and snares for any game, maintained the integrity of his makeshift home, and ensured the security of his surroundings. The former soldier had built a series of intricate defenses around his cabin, including hidden traps, surveillance points, and escape routes all designed to guarantee his safety from any potential threats. The days had become monotonous for Klaus, but he found solace in the simple tasks that filled his time. Hunting, foraging, and tending to his cabin provided a sense of purpose and control amidst the chaos that now plagued the world. The isolation he had chosen was a lonely existence, but it was one he had come to accept and even appreciate. In the quiet moments between his daily activities, Klaus found his thoughts drifting to the past. He thought of the friends he had lost, the family he had left behind, and the mistakes he had made during the outbreak. His self-imposed exile was a way to distance himself from these painful memories and the heavy burden of guilt that haunted him. As he went about his daily tasks, Klaus also kept himself informed of the world beyond his secluded haven. He had salvaged a battery-operated radio from an abandoned campsite and would spend his evening scanning the airwaves for any news or updates on the state of the world. More often than not, he found only static and the occasional desperate plea for help. But these grim reminders only served to reinforce his decision to remain hidden. However, Klaus's isolated existence was about to change. Fate had a different path in store for him, and a chance encounter with a stranger would force him to confront his past and venture out into the world once more. As he embarked on a new journey, he would search for hope and redemption in a world ravaged by the undead. Chapter 2 A Chance Encounter one morning, as Klaus ventured further from his cabin to survey the perimeter of his territory, he heard the unmistakable sound of human distress echoing through the woods. His instincts kicked in, and he cautiously followed the noise, unsure of what he might find. As he approached the source, he came upon a young woman, battered and terrified, running for her life from a group of relentless zombies. Without hesitation, Klaus sprang into action. Years of training and combat experience allowed him to swiftly dispatch the undead pursuers, one by one, with deadly precision. As the last zombie fell, the woman collapsed to the ground, her eyes wide with a mix of fear and gratitude. Though he had saved her life, Klaus was reluctant to invite her into his world. He had spent the last two years building his sanctuary, 
and the thought of jeopardizing his safety and solitude weighed heavily on him. The woman, who introduced herself as Lena, revealed that she was part of a group of survivors searching for a mysterious scientist. Rumored to have a cure for the zombie infection. They had been separated during a particularly brutal zombie attack, leaving her to fend for herself. Despite his initial skepticism, Klaus found himself drawn to Lena's cause. Perhaps it was the spark of hope he saw in her eyes, or the opportunity to atone for his past mistakes. But something compelled him to agree to help her find her group and locate the scientist. As they prepared to leave the safety of his cabin, Klaus felt an uneasy mixture of trepidation and excitement. He knew that venturing back into the world, with all its dangers and uncertainty, would not be easy. But he also understood that this was an opportunity to make a difference. To help save humanity from the nightmare it had become. Together, Klaus and Lena set off on their journey, forging a tentative bond born out of necessity and a shared sense of purpose. Little did they know that the road ahead would be filled with trials and tribulations. Forcing them to rely on each other's strength and courage in the face of overwhelming odds. Unbeknownst to them, their quest for the cure would lead them not only to the mysterious scientist. But also into the heart of a sinister conspiracy that threatened the very fate of the world. Chapter 3. Trust and Skepticism as Klaus and Lena journeyed together, their mutual trust deepened, and the two found themselves growing closer. Lena shared her knowledge of the group of survivors. She had been part of and their ongoing quest to locate the mysterious scientist with the cure for the zombie infection. Initially skeptical. Klaus weighed his options and reflected on his own past, haunted by the choices he had made as a special forces soldier. The prospect of finding the cure offered him an opportunity for redemption and a way to contribute to saving humanity from the zombie threat. Finally, Klaus decided to join Lena and her group in their search for the elusive scientist. They returned to Lena's camp, where the other survivors greeted them with caution. It took some time for Klaus to earn their trust, but his skills and experience soon proved invaluable to the group. Under Klaus's guidance, the group began devising a plan to locate the scientist. They pooled their knowledge and resources. Gathering every scrap of information they could find about the cure and its creator. The path ahead was uncertain, but with each new clue, they inched closer to their ultimate goal. As they prepared for the journey ahead, Klaus and Lena continued to build a strong bond. He took the time to teach her essential survival skills while she offered him a sense of purpose and hope that he had long been missing. The stage was set for their journey to find the scientist and the cure, a quest that would challenge them in ways they could never have anticipated. Unbeknownst to them, the road ahead would be fraught with danger, betrayal, and the revelation of a sinister conspiracy. Chapter 4. Perilous Path With a renewed sense of purpose, Klaus, Lena, and the group of survivors set off on their journey to find the scientist and the cure. Along the way, they encountered various challenges and obstacles, testing their resilience and adaptability. The group traversed treacherous terrain 
from dense forests to crumbling cityscapes, where the signs of humanity's downfall were all too evident. The survivors soon discovered that the infected were not their only adversaries. They encountered hostile survivor groups, each with their own motives and methods for staying alive in the apocalyptic world. Some saw the group as a threat, while others sought to exploit their knowledge of the cure for their own gain. Trusting others became increasingly difficult, forcing the group to rely on each other more than ever. As they journeyed deeper into the infected territory, they faced a new and horrifying development mutated zombies with unique abilities. These creatures were the result of the virus evolving, granting the undead terrifying powers that made them even more dangerous than before. The group had to adjust their tactics, using all their skills and resources to combat this new threat. Throughout these trials, Klaus and Lena's bond grew stronger. They relied on each other not only for survival but also for emotional support. As they faced each challenge together, the trust between them became unshakable, and their connection deepened. Despite the numerous setbacks and hardships, the group pressed on, fueled by their determination to find the scientist and the cure. Each step brought them closer to their goal, and they knew that giving up was not an option. The fate of humanity depended on their success, and they would stop at nothing to ensure the future of the world. Chapter 5 Unraveling Secrets As Klaus, Lena, and the group drew closer to the scientists' hidden laboratory, the stakes became even higher. They had faced numerous obstacles and risks, but they knew that finding the cure was their ultimate goal. With each passing day, the urgency of their mission became more apparent, driving them to push forward despite their exhaustion and the ever-present dangers. Finally, they discovered the scientists' secret laboratory, cleverly concealed within an abandoned military facility. Cautiously, the group infiltrated the compound, prepared for any potential threats that might await them inside. What they found within the facility was both enlightening and horrifying. As they explored the laboratory, they uncovered evidence of the sinister conspiracy that had been manipulating the zombie outbreak from the shadows. The group realized that the cure was only one piece of the puzzle, and they had stumbled upon a much larger, more complex web of deceit and corruption. This revelation left them with more questions than answers setting the stage for a new chapter in their fight against the zombie threat. Despite the shock of their discovery, the group could not afford to lose focus on their primary objective finding the cure. Time was of the essence, and they had to act quickly before the shadowy organization behind the conspiracy could carry out their plans. The group had come too far to turn back, and they knew that their journey was far from over. The Zombie Star The Hidden Laboratory Chapter 1 the search continues. Klaus and Lena, more determined than ever to uncover the truth behind the zombie outbreak, venture deeper into the heart of the infected territory. Following the clues they have gathered, 
they tread cautiously, acutely aware of the dangers lurking around every corner. They do their best to avoid any unnecessary confrontations with the zombies roaming the desolate streets, using their wits and survival skills to stay alive. As they progress through the eerie urban landscape, they find solace in their shared determination and frequently discuss their findings. Sharing theories about the mysterious scientist and the conspiracy surrounding the outbreak. Klaus remains skeptical about the scientists' intentions, questioning whether they could truly be an ally. Lena, on the other hand, is more optimistic, believing that there might be a hidden agenda behind the entire conspiracy that they have yet to uncover. Their journey leads them to an old factory complex on the outskirts of the city, its decrepit buildings a stark reminder of the world that once was. Investigating the area, they discover a hidden room buried deep within the complex, filled with documents and research materials. The information within suggests that the factory might have been a secret research facility connected to the outbreak, and that the truth they seek may be closer than they realize. Excited by their discovery, Klaus and Lena decide to search the factory thoroughly for more clues. Hoping that it will lead them closer to the truth and the mysterious scientist. They carefully comb through the abandoned facility. Finding remnants of experiments and technology that were once cutting edge but now lay forgotten. As they delve deeper into the secrets of the factory, they begin to uncover unsettling evidence that raises more questions than answers. Little do they know that they are about to face new challenges and dangers that will test their strength, determination, and bond with each other. Will they be able to survive the trials ahead? or will the truth they seek remain forever out of reach? The search continues. Chapter 2 New Allies Having explored the factory complex, Klaus and Lena decide to leave the site and continue their search for the mysterious scientist. As they make their way through the city, they encounter a group of survivors who appear to be in dire straits. Surrounded by zombies, the survivors are on the verge of being overrun. Klaus and Lena, without hesitation, jump into action to save them. Working together, they manage to fend off the zombies and save the beleaguered survivors. Grateful for the assistance, the survivors introduce themselves as a diverse and skilled team who have also been seeking a cure for the zombie infection. They have been following their own leads, tracking down the shadowy organization they believe to be responsible for the outbreak. Klaus and Lena decide to join forces with the group. Recognizing that they share a common goal and that they can be more effective together. Each member of the new team brings unique talents and knowledge, ranging from medical expertise to combat experience. As they swap stories and compare notes, the bond between the group members begins to strengthen and they find solace in their shared mission. Together, they continue the search for the hidden laboratory and the mysterious scientist, 
following the breadcrumbs left behind by the elusive figure. As they navigate the treacherous and zombie-infested streets, they encounter various obstacles and challenges. Including hostile survivor groups and harrowing zombie encounters. Through teamwork and cooperation, the group overcomes these challenges, growing closer as a unit in the process. As they delve deeper into the heart of the infected territory, the group becomes more and more determined to uncover the truth behind the outbreak and find the cure. They know that time is running out, and the stakes are higher than ever. With each step, they are drawing closer to their ultimate goal, but the challenges that lie ahead are unlike any they have faced before. Chapter 3 the Hidden Laboratory As our group approached the fortified structure in the distance, it became clear that this was the abandoned military facility we had been searching for. With whispered agreement, we gathered our gear and cautiously advanced toward the compound, our hearts pounding in anticipation. Lena. The experienced strategist among us suggested that we split into smaller teams to cover more ground and increase our chances of finding the lab. Our group members nodded in agreement, acknowledging the wisdom of her plan. With our strategy in place, we infiltrated the facility. Navigating the dark and eerie corridors, our footsteps muffled by the silence. As we delved deeper into the compound, we heard the unmistakable sound of shuffling footsteps approaching. We halted, preparing ourselves for a confrontation. Moments later, a group of zombies that had once been the research staff appeared, their faces twisted in grotesque expressions. They shambled toward us, reaching out with rotting hands. Our group sprang into action, each member employing their unique skills to fight off the undead. Lena used her agility and martial arts training to take down multiple zombies, while Klaus wielded his trusty fire axe. Splitting the skulls of the monsters that dared to approach him, the others in our group fought with equal determination, using any weapons they had on hand to eliminate the threat and push forward. As we continued our search, we stumbled upon a horrifying sight. Mutated zombies, the result of failed experiments. Their grotesque features and unnerving movements sent a collective shudder through our group. These monsters were unlike any we had ever seen before. Their limbs elongated and twisted their eyes glowing with a sinister light. It was clear that we faced an even greater challenge than before. Despite our fear, we pressed on, our resolve hardening as we realized that we were close to our goal. We engaged the mutated zombies in a grueling battle, our skills and teamwork put to the test. Every member of our group fought with all they had, pushing themselves to their limits. The battle raged on, and eventually, we emerged victorious, though exhausted and battered. With the mutated zombies defeated, we discovered the hidden laboratory, concealed deep within the facility. The entrance was well camouflaged, 
almost undetectable to the untrained eye. Upon entering, it became apparent that this lab held vital information about the shadowy organization responsible for the outbreak. We searched the room meticulously. Gathering data and resources that would prove invaluable in our quest for the truth. Feeling a sense of accomplishment. We realized that we were one step closer to confronting the scientist. With renewed determination. Our group prepared for the upcoming showdown. Knowing that the fate of humanity rested in our hands. We couldn't afford to fail. And we would do whatever it took to stop the zombie threat once. And for all. Chapter 4 Confronting the Scientist. As we ventured further into the depths of the laboratory, we couldn't help but feel a mixture of anxiety and determination. We knew that the scientist we sought was near, and that the answers we so desperately needed were within our grasp. The air was thick with tension, our hearts pounding in our chests as we pressed on. Finally, we found ourselves standing in front of a heavy steel door. We exchanged glances. Silently acknowledging that this was the moment we had been working toward. Taking a deep breath, Klaus stepped forward and pushed the door open, revealing the room beyond. Inside, we were met with a sight that we could never have anticipated. There, in the center of the dimly lit room, stood the mysterious scientist, hunched over a workbench, engrossed in his experiments. As he turned to face us, we noticed that his face was lined with exhaustion and desperation, a far cry from the cold and calculating mastermind we had expected. Klaus, his voice steady and strong, confronted the scientist. He demanded to know the truth behind the conspiracy and the scientist's role in the zombie outbreak. The scientist hesitated for a moment, his gaze darting between the members of our group. Finally, he broke his silence, revealing a story that none of us could have predicted. The scientist explained that he had initially been forced to cooperate with the shadowy organization responsible for the outbreak. They had threatened the lives of his loved ones if he did not comply. However, as time went on, he realized the horrifying extent of their plans and decided to work against them from within. He had been secretly searching for a cure, hoping to put an end to the organization's nefarious schemes and save humanity. As we listened to the scientist's tale, our initial anger and mistrust faded, replaced by an understanding of the difficult position he had found himself in. We realized that, in a way, he was just as much a victim of the conspiracy as the countless people who had been affected by the zombie outbreak. With the truth finally revealed, we knew that we had a new ally in our fight against the organization. Our group, now united in a common goal, prepared to embark on the next stage of our mission to refine and mass produce the zombie cure. Expose the conspiracy, and save the world from the undead menace that threatened to consume it. Chapter 5 A New Hope As our group stood in the hidden laboratory, 
the scientist led us to the precious prototype of the zombie cure he had been working on. With a mix of awe and relief. We marveled at the small vial that held the key to humanity's salvation. The scientist, however, was quick to remind us that the fight was far from over. He explained that although the prototype was a significant breakthrough, it needed to be refined and mass produced before it could be effectively used to save the world from the zombie threat. The task that lay ahead of us was daunting. But we were more determined than ever to see it through. As we prepared to leave the laboratory, our newfound ally shared his knowledge of the shadowy organization's operations, giving us valuable insights that would aid us in our mission. We knew that we were not only fighting against the zombie horde, but also against the corrupt forces that had unleashed the deadly outbreak upon the world. As we made our way back to the surface, the bonds forged between our diverse group of survivors had grown stronger. Each of us brought unique skills, knowledge, and determination to the fight, and we were united in our shared goal to save humanity. With the prototype cure in our possession and a newfound sense of purpose, our group vowed to continue our mission no matter the obstacles that lay ahead. We would expose the conspiracy, stop the zombie threat, and bring hope to a world that had been plunged into darkness. Together, we embarked on our journey, carrying the weight of humanity's survival on our shoulders, as we stepped into the uncertain future. Ready to face whatever challenges awaited us in our quest to save the world. The Zombie Star The Race Against Time Chapter 1 Unraveling the conspiracy. With the prototype cure in hand, the group, along with the scientist, begins to work on refining and mass producing the cure. They set up a makeshift lab in a secured location to keep their progress hidden from the shadowy organization responsible for the outbreak. The team members immerse themselves in the research, understanding that every moment counts in their efforts to save humanity. As they delve deeper into the conspiracy, they learn about the sinister plan to use the zombie virus as a means to control the world. The organization aims to manipulate the infected population as their private army, forcing their will upon the surviving remnants of society. The weight of their discovery bears down on the group, and they realize the urgency of their mission. The team meticulously analyzes the data they have collected from the hidden laboratory, piecing together the puzzle of the organization's intentions. As they work, they uncover more evidence of the organization's far-reaching influence and the devastating consequences of their actions. The group also learns about the potential existence of a network of scientists who have been coerced or willingly working for the organization. 
fueled by their determination to prevent the organization's plans from coming to fruition. The team redoubles their efforts in refining the cure and devising a strategy to distribute it to survivors. They know that they must act quickly, as they represent the last line of defense against a world dominated by the undead. While the group works tirelessly to save humanity, they also prepare for the inevitable confrontation with the shadowy organization. They are determined to do whatever it takes to put an end to their sinister plans and restore hope to a world ravaged by the zombie apocalypse. Chapter 2 A Danger Pursue. Understanding the urgency of our mission, we decide to split into two teams. The first team, comprised of the scientist and other members with medical expertise, focuses on refining the cure and researching ways to distribute it to the survivors. They know that every second counts and that their work could mean the difference between life and death for countless people. Meanwhile, I lead the second team on a dangerous pursuit to gather more information about the organization and find a way to dismantle it. We follow leads and clues, venturing into treacherous territory where the undead and the organization's enforcers pose a constant threat. We rely on our wits, stealth, and combat skills to navigate the hazardous landscape. As we journey deeper into enemy territory, my team uncovers crucial information about the organization's operations and their network of collaborators. We realize that the organization is a far more formidable enemy than we initially anticipated, with resources and connections that span across the globe. This revelation only strengthens our resolve to bring the organization to justice. We also learn about the organization's experiments on the zombie virus, revealing the existence of advanced zombie mutations. These enhanced zombies are more intelligent, faster, and harder to kill posing a significant threat to our mission. We know that we must adapt and overcome these new challenges pursuit if we are to stand a chance at stopping the organization and saving humanity. As my team continues our dangerous pursuit, we find ourselves in a race against time with the fate of the world hanging in the balance. Every step we take brings us closer to confronting the organization and its twisted plans. But we also know that the journey ahead will be fraught with danger and sacrifice. Chapter 3 The Stakes Are Raised as we follow the trail of the shadowy organization, the encounters we face become increasingly dangerous. It seems as though the organization is well aware of our pursuit and will stop at nothing to protect their secret agenda. My heart races with every new obstacle, the tension mounting as we press onward. One day, as we cautiously navigate through an abandoned city, we come across a horrifying scene. A group of advanced zombie mutations has cornered a band of survivors. Realizing that we can't abandon these people, 
my team and I spring into action. With adrenaline pumping through my veins, I charge towards the nearest mutated zombie, my weapon at the ready. The creature lunges at me, but I narrowly dodge its attack, using my momentum to strike a blow to its head. The impact sends it crashing to the ground, but it quickly recovers, snarling and ready to fight. The battle rages around me as my team fights bravely alongside the survivors. We struggle to keep the zombies at bay, their relentless onslaught threatening to overwhelm us. I can see the fear in my teammates' eyes, but also the determination to protect the innocent and stay alive. The air is filled with the sounds of gunfire, screams, and the guttural growls of the undead. Our ammunition begins to run low, and I know that we must act fast if we are to survive this encounter. I spot a fuel truck nearby and hatch a desperate plan. Cover me, I shout sprinting towards the truck. Bullets whiz past me as my team lays down covering fire. I reach the truck, heart pounding in my chest, and quickly climb into the driver's seat. With a roar of the engine, I slam my foot on the gas and steer the truck towards the horde of mutated zombies. As the truck barrels towards the creatures, I jump out at the last second, rolling to safety. The truck crashes into the zombies, and the resulting explosion engulfs them in a fiery inferno. The shockwave knocks me to the ground, and for a moment, everything goes silent. We've won the battle, but the cost is heavy. We've lost some of our own, and the survivors are shaken. As we regroup, I can't help but feel the weight of the responsibility on my shoulders. I vow to put an end to the organization's reign of terror, no matter the sacrifice. The stakes are higher than ever, and time is running out. Chapter 4 a desperate gamble. We finally manage to infiltrate one of the organization's main facilities, every step laden with danger. Our hearts pound as we sneak past guards, narrowly avoiding detection. I can't shake the feeling that we're walking into a trap, but we have no choice but to push forward. Inside the facility, we uncover vital information regarding the organization's plan to release an even deadlier strain of the virus. My blood runs cold as I realize the implications of this new threat. If we don't act now, the consequences could be catastrophic for the entire world. With no time to waste, we make a desperate decision to destroy the facility and halt the production of the new virus. Our plan is risky, but it's the only way to prevent the unthinkable from happening. We split up, each of us tasked with planting explosives at key points throughout the facility. As I planned my last explosive, the sound of approaching footsteps fills me with dread. I hide, holding my breath as the guards pass by, mere inches from my hiding spot. Once they're gone, I exhale and continue to make my way towards the rendezvous point. 
the facility shakes as the first explosion goes off. The sound is deafening, and I know that our cover is blown. Alarms blare as we race through the crumbling facility, gunfire erupting behind us. It's a mad dash to escape before the whole place comes down around us. As we sprint towards the exit, one of my teammates is hit by enemy fire. I want to help them, but I know that every second counts. I grit my teeth, forcing myself to keep going, vowing to avenge their sacrifice. We barely make it out of the facility before it collapses in a fiery explosion. The ground trembles beneath our feet as we watch the destruction, our hearts heavy with both triumph and loss. We've dealt a significant blow to the organization, but it has come at a steep price. As we regroup, I feel a renewed sense of urgency and determination to bring an end to the organization's reign of terror once and for all. I know that the final confrontation is near and I'm ready to face whatever challenges lie ahead. Chapter 5 Juris Pursue A Glimmer of Hope Juris Pursue Exhausted but determined, we return to our base, our minds weighed down by the losses we've suffered. The air is thick with sorrow, but also with a renewed sense of purpose. We're now more committed than ever to ending the organization's sinister plans. As we share the information we've uncovered, the other team tells us about the progress they've made in refining the cure. The breakthrough they've achieved brings a spark of hope to our eyes. Knowing that we might finally have a way to save the world from this nightmare fuels our resolve. We strategize, preparing for the final confrontation. We know that the organization will be more desperate now that they've suffered a major setback. I can't help but feel a sense of trepidation as we discuss our plans. The weight of our responsibility resting heavily on my shoulders. We start to train, honing our skills and pushing our bodies to the limit. I can feel myself growing stronger, faster, and more focused with each passing day. As our final battle approaches, I know that we'll need every ounce of strength we have to emerge victorious. In the quiet moments, I think about the people we've lost along the way. The sacrifices they've made to get us this far. I promise myself that I'll do everything in my power to ensure their deaths were not in vain. As the day of the final confrontation draws near, we gather our supplies and say our goodbyes. We know that some of us may not return, but we're willing to give everything we have for the greater good. With a glimmer of hope guiding us, we set out to face the organization and bring an end to their reign of terror. We're prepared to fight to the last breath, knowing that the future of humanity rests in our hands. And we won't back down until we've secured the safety of the world once and for all. The Zombie Star The Final Stand Chapter 1 
a united front. As I reunited with the other team, I felt a sense of relief wash over me. We had all been through so much in our quest to find a cure for the zombie outbreak. It was comforting to know that we were not alone in our fight against the nefarious organization responsible for the apocalypse. For our part, my team had succeeded in destroying the organization's facilities, which had slowed down their progress in creating new zombie mutations. It was a major victory, but we all knew that the organization would not give up without a fight. We spent the next few days planning and strategizing for our final battle against the organization. We knew that we had to be united and work together if we were going to succeed in our mission. As we prepared for our final stand, we faced new challenges and obstacles that threatened to derail our mission. But with our shared determination and resourcefulness, we worked together to overcome these challenges and prepare for the ultimate showdown. I felt a sense of camaraderie and unity that I had never experienced before. We were all fighting for the same cause, with a shared purpose and determination to succeed. With the improved cure and the knowledge of the organization's plans, we knew that we had a fighting chance. It was up to us to take the fight to the organization and put an end to their nefarious plans once and for all. And so, we stood together as a united front, ready to take on whatever challenges lay ahead and fight with all our might to ensure a better future for humanity. Chapter 2 Spreading the Cure With the refined cure in hand, the protagonists set out to distribute it to survivors worldwide. We knew that time was of the essence and that we needed to act quickly if we were going to save as many people as possible. We utilized our network of contacts and resources to send the cure to the farthest corners of the globe. Our efforts were met with some resistance, as there were those who were skeptical of our cure and its effectiveness. But with determination and perseverance, we continued to spread the cure, offering hope to the remaining population. It was a challenging and exhausting task, but we were driven by the knowledge that we were making a difference in the fight against the zombie apocalypse. As we traveled from place to place, we witnessed firsthand the devastation that the outbreak had caused. Entire communities had been decimated, and survivors were struggling to rebuild their lives in the aftermath. But despite the challenges, we continued to distribute the cure, offering a glimmer of hope in a world that had been consumed by darkness. As the days turned into weeks and the weeks turned into months, we watched as the tide slowly began to turn. The number of zombie infections decreased, and survivors began to emerge from their hiding places. It was a slow and difficult process, but we knew that we were making a difference. We were spreading the cure and offering hope to those who had lost everything. And so, we continued our mission, traveling from place to place and spreading the cure to all who needed it.
we knew that the fight against the zombie apocalypse was far from over. But we also knew that we had made a significant difference in the lives of countless survivors. Chapter 3 The Final Battle Klaus led our team on a daring assault on the organization's headquarters, determined to put an end to their plans once and for all. We knew that this would be our toughest battle yet. But we were all prepared to fight to the death to ensure the success of our mission. As we made our way through the facility, we faced our most challenging trials yet. The organization had fortified their defenses, and we encountered fierce resistance at every turn. We battled both the organization's forces and the deadliest zombie mutations we had ever encountered. It was a grueling and exhausting fight, but we refused to give up. We had come too far to fail now. The tension was palpable as we made our way deeper into the facility. We could hear the sound of gunfire and screams echoing throughout the halls, and we knew that we were getting closer to our ultimate goal. As we entered the main chamber, we were met by the organization's leader who was guarded by a group of their most elite soldiers. The tension in the room was thick, and we all knew that this would be our final showdown. The battle was intense and brutal, and it seemed as though the odds were against us. But we fought with all our might, knowing that the fate of humanity rested on our shoulders. The sound of gunfire and explosions filled the air, as the battle raged on. We were outnumbered and outgunned, but we refused to give up. As we fought, the tension continued to mount, and it seemed as though the battle would never end. But Klaus fought on, driven by our shared determination to succeed. Chapter 4 The Ultimate Sacrifice As Klaus and his team confronted the organization's leader in the climactic battle, it was clear that this was a fight to the death. The stakes were higher than ever, and the tension was palpable as the two sides clashed. Despite the odds stacked against them, Klaus and his team fought with all their might. They knew that this was the final battle, and they were determined to emerge victorious. But as the battle raged on, it became clear that the organization's leader was not going to go down without a fight. They were a formidable opponent, and their soldiers were skilled and well trained. As the tension continued to mount, Klaus knew that he had to make a difficult decision. In order to ensure the success of their mission and the survival of humanity, he would have to make the ultimate sacrifice. With a heavy heart, Klaus made his move, confronting the organization's leader in a thrilling and emotional showdown. It was a battle for the ages, with both sides giving it their all. As the battle reached its climax, Klaus made the ultimate sacrifice, giving his life to ensure that the organization's plans would be stopped once and for all. The moment was heartbreaking as Klaus's team watched in horror as their leader fell in battle. But they knew that his sacrifice would not be in vain. With renewed determination, Klaus's team rallied together, 
fighting harder than ever to ensure the success of their mission. They battled on, even as the odds seemed stacked against them. In the end, their efforts paid off, and they emerged victorious. Having put an end to the organization's nefarious plans and secured the survival of humanity in the face of adversity. But Klaus's sacrifice was not forgotten. His legacy lived on, inspiring hope and unity in a world forever changed by the events that had transpired. The chapter ended with Klaus's team standing strong. Having emerged from the battle victorious but forever changed by the sacrifice of their leader. Chapter 5 A New Dawn With the organization defeated and the virus averted, the survivors could finally start rebuilding society. It was a long and difficult process, but with the help of the cure and their resourcefulness. Humanity began to heal from the devastating effects of the zombie apocalypse. As the world slowly began to regain some semblance of normalcy, the legacy of Klaus lived on. His sacrifice weighed heavily on the survivors' hearts, but it also inspired them to come together and build a new world. One that was stronger and more united than before. The cure reached the majority of the population, and hope began to spread throughout the world. The survivors worked tirelessly to rebuild their communities utilizing their skills and knowledge to create a new society that was better equipped to deal with the challenges of the future. As time passed, the memories of the zombie apocalypse began to fade, replaced by a sense of gratitude for the hard-won peace and stability. Klaus's sacrifice remained a constant reminder of the bravery and selflessness of the human spirit. And his legacy continued to inspire hope in the hearts of those who survived. In the end, the world emerged from the ashes of the zombie apocalypse a changed place but one that was stronger and more resilient than ever before. The survivors had come together to create a new dawn, one that promised a brighter future for all of humanity. As the story drew to a close, we were left with a sense of hope and optimism, knowing that even in the darkest of times, the human spirit would always endure. Zombie Star had come to a close, but its legacy would live on, inspiring future generations to face their own challenges with courage, determination, and hope.